Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute baby romper. So this romper can be made in a number of different sizes and for all of the information on how to make the different sizes, please see the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So to begin your romper, you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. And now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain and we're going to chain 46. So chain one, two, three, four, all the way up to 46. So there I have finished making my foundation chain and now we're ready to move on to round one. So round one of our romper is just a simple round of double crochet. So we're going to do one double crochet into every single chain and we're going to do our first double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second chain and you want to yarn over and go down into this chain, the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into that chain, and now we're going to yarn over and go down into the next chain, and do the exact same thing, one double crochet into this chain as well, and then do one into the next chain, and the next. And just keep repeating this all the way along for round one, one double crochet into each chain. So I have just finished working that all the way along for round one and at the end of this round you should have 45 double crochets and I would recommend just quickly going back and double checking that you do have 45 and if you do we're ready to move on to round two. So to begin round two you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. And now round two is just another round of plain double crochet. So we're just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here as our chain one did not count as a stitch. So go down into this first one and do one double crochet. And then do one double crochet into the next stitch and one into the next and we're just going to repeat that all the way along one double crochet into every single stitch so I'm just coming to the end of round two so I'm going to do one double crochet into this very last stitch at the end like that. So there I have finished round two and you should have 45 double crochets at the end of this round as well. And now we're ready to move on to round three.
So we are now on to round three. And for the next 15 rounds, so for rounds three all the way up to 17, we are just going to repeat round two, so the round that we just did. So for each round, you want to chain one and turn, and that chain one never counts as a stitch. So you'll chain one and turn to start each round, and then just do one double crochet into every single stitch. And you should have 45 double crochets in each round. So you want to do that all the way along for round three, then four, five, six, seven, all the way up to the end of round 17. So just keep repeating round two of chain one and turn and then one double crochet into every stitch 15 times. So I have finished working those repeats and you can see that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 rounds in total. So I have come to the end of round 17 and I still have 45 stitches in that round. And now we're ready to move on to round 18. So to begin round 18, you want to chain one and turn, and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So round 18 is just another round of plain double crochet, but in this round, we are just going to work into the back loop of each stitch. So if you have a look at our stitches, each stitch has a front loop here, and then a back loop, so a front loop and a back loop, and a front loop and a back loop. And usually when we crochet, we go through both of these loops. But in round 18 and round 18 only, we are just going to go through the back loop of every single stitch. So for round 18, we're going to do one double crochet into the back loop of each stitch. So we have chained one and turned. So now you want to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here, but we're just going to go into the back loop of this stitch. So work one double crochet and then yarn over and go into the back loop of the next stitch and do one double crochet. And the same thing into the next one, just going into the back loop. And the next. And just repeat this all the way along. One double crochet into the back loop of every single stitch for round 18. So I have finished working that all the way along for round 18 and by working into the back loop of each stitch we create this little ridge which we can work into later and now we're ready to move on to round 19. So to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch and round 19 is just another round of one double crochet into each stitch and in this round, we're going to go back into working through both the front and back loop of each stitch. So yarn over, go down into the first stitch and we're going back through both loops of the stitch and do one double crochet and then do one into the next stitch. And just continue this all the way along, one double crochet into every single stitch for round 19. So I finished working those double crochets for round 19 and now to begin round 20, chain one and turn. And in round 20, we're going to start using a stitch called two double crochets together. And when we do two double crochets together, we do two double crochets, 
one into each stitch, but you do not want to complete either of them. And then you want to complete them both together at the same time. So we're effectively turning two stitches into one. So we're going to start off by doing a set of two double crochets together. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops just as you would with a normal double crochet but you do not want to complete this double crochet so stop here and leave it incomplete and move on to the next one yarn over, go down into the next stitch and pull up a loop just as you would with a normal double crochet and yarn over and pull through two loops but you do not want to complete this double crochet either. So there we have two incomplete double crochets on our hook and you should have one, two, three loops on your hook there. And you want to yarn over and pull through all three loops to complete the stitch. So there we have done one set of two double crochets together and we have turned two stitches into one. And now you want to go ahead and do a second set in the exact same way. So yarn over and go into the next stitch and start a double crochet. So stop here right before the last step of the double crochet and move on to the next one. Yarn over, go into the next stitch and start a second double crochet. But do not complete this one either and yarn over and pull through all three loops. So there we have done a second set of two double crochets together. And now we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next 37 stitches. So do one double crochet into the next stitch and one into the next and keep going until you have 37. So there I have finished doing those double crochets. So we have two sets of two double crochets together and then 37 double crochets. And then to finish off this round, we are going to do another two sets of two double crochets together. So you should find that you have one, two, three, four stitches left. And we're going to do two last sets of two double crochets together to finish. So yarn over, go down into the first stitch and start your first set, then start the second double crochet and complete it. So there we have our first set of two double crochets together and then do a final set to finish the round. like that. So there I have finished round 20. So we have two sets, 37 double crochets and two more sets. And at the end of this round, you should have 41 stitches. And now we're moving on to round 21. So to begin this round, chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to start off this round with two sets of two double crochets together, just like we started last round. So go ahead and do those two sets. So there's one set of two double crochets together. And now do a second set. Like that. And now you want to do one double crochet into each of the next 33 stitches. So do one into the next stitch and one into the next and keep going until you have 33. So 
So I'm just coming to the end of round 21. So I have done two sets of two double crochets together and then 33 double crochets. And you should find that you have four stitches left at the end. And just like last round, we're going to finish off by doing two last sets of two double crochets together. So there, I have one set. like that and then I have a second set like that. So there I have finished round 21 and at the end of this round you should have 37 stitches and now we're ready to move on to round 22. So to begin this round chain one and turn and we're going to start off by just doing one set of two double crochets together. So go ahead and do that first set. So there we have one set to start. And now you want to do one double crochet into each of the next 33 stitches. So just like last round, we're going to do 33 double crochets. So I have worked those 33 double crochets and I'm just coming to the end of round 22. So now we're going to finish off by doing a final set of two double crochets together. Like that. So there I have finished round 22 and you should have 35 stitches at the end of this round. And now we're moving on to round 23. So for the next four rounds, so for rounds 23, 24, 25 and 26, we're just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch. So to begin each round, chain one and turn. And then we're going to do one double crochet into each stitch along and that should be 35 double crochets. So do that all the way along for round 23 then 24, 25 and 26. So we're doing four rounds of chain one and turn and then one double crochet into each stitch. And you need to make sure that you have 35 double crochets at the end of every single round. So I have just finished doing those repeats, so I have come to the end of round 26 and this is what I have. So by doing those rounds with the two double crochets together, we have decreased to create these little armholes. And now we're ready to add on our straps. So at the end of round 26, you now want to add on the straps. And for our straps, we're going to do this left one here first and finish it off. And then we will move on to the other one and do it in the same way. So to begin the straps, you want to chain one and turn. And we're going to do six double crochets. Here's four, five, and six. So there we have one double crochet into each of the first six stitches. And now you want to do two double crochets together. So yarn over, go into the first stitch, start a double crochet, and then start a second one, and complete them at the same time. So there we have done six double crochets and then two double crochets together. And we have done round one of our first strap. 
And now for the next four rounds, so for rounds two, three, four and five, you want to chain one and turn and then do one double crochet into each stitch. So we're doing four rounds of plain double crochet for the rest of the strap. And in each of those rounds, you should find that you have seven double crochets. So for round two, chain one and turn and then do one double crochet into the first stitch and one into the next and do this all the way along and you should find that that is seven so like that so there i have my first round of double crochets and you want to do that for three more rounds so until you get to the end of round five So there I have finished doing those rounds, so I have my first strap complete and now we need to fasten off, so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn and you want to leave a nice long tail here as you can use this tail then to sew up your straps at the end. And now we're going to move on and make the other strap on the opposite side. And this strap is made in the exact same way, it's just that the first round is back to front. So you want to start off by counting in 8 stitches. So we're going to count in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 like that. And then you want to insert your hook into this 8th stitch. And now we need to attach our yarn to that stitch. So take your yarn, place it over the end of your hook, pull it through and chain one to attach the yarn like that. And now like I said, round one is going to be back to front. So rather than doing six double crochets and then two double crochets together, we're going to start off with our set of two double crochets together. like that and then do six double crochets to finish the round and then for the rest of this strap you just want to do the exact same thing as the other one so once you come to the end of round one you want to do your four repeats of one double crochet into each stitch and there should be seven double crochets in each round so make this strap the exact same as the other one. So there I have finished making the other strap in the exact same way. And now we have finished the top part of this half of the romper. And now we need to move on to the bottom part. So to begin the bottom, you want to start off by attaching your yarn into the very last stitch at the end here. So at the end of the bottom of your work. And you need to make sure that you have the wrong side or the back of the last row facing you here. So you're going to have the back of this last row facing you. And we're going to go into this last stitch at the very end. And attach our yarn to this stitch. So take your new yarn and just in the same way as we did before, place it over the end of your hook pull it through and chain one to attach your yarn like that and now we're going to start off this round by working two sets of two double crochets together so yarn over and go down into the first stitch and start a double crochet and then go into the next one and start a double crochet and complete them at the same time so there we have our first set of two double crochets together and now you want to do a second set so a second set of two double crochets together like that and now you want to do one double crochet into every single stitch until you get to four stitches from the end. So we're going to do double crochets all the way along, stopping when we get to one, two, three, four stitches from the end. 
So, do one into the next stitch and one into the next. So just keep doing these double crochets, one into each stitch until you get to four stitches from so the end. So I'm just coming to the end of round one of the bottom of the romper. So we have done two sets of two double crochets together and then one double crochet into every stitch until four from the end. So you can see I have one, two, three, four stitches left at the end of the round. And we're going to finish off by doing two last sets of two double crochets together. So do your first set. And then the last set. like that. So there we have finished off round one of the bottom and we're ready to move on to round two. So for the next four rounds, so for rounds two, three, four and five, we are just going to repeat round one, so the round that we just did. So to begin each of those four rounds, you want to chain one and turn and this chain one never counts as a stitch. And then you want to do two sets of two double crochets together and then one double crochet into each stitch until four stitches from the end. So in this round, we would stop leaving one, two, three, four stitches left at the end. And you need to make sure that you're not counting the little chain one here as a stitch. So you would stop before the last final four stitches and then finish off with two sets of two double crochets together. So you'll do that all the way along for round two, then three, then four, and then five. So you want to do four repeats of round one. So I have come to the end of round five and finished those repeats and now we're moving on to round six. So to begin this round, chain one and turn and we're going to start off by doing three sets of two double crochets together. So I'm going to do my first set. Like that and then second, a second set and then a third set. So we're starting off round six with three sets of two double crochets together and now you want to do one double crochet into each stitch until six stitches from the end so stop when you have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches left. So I have finished doing those double crochets and you should have found that that was 13 double crochets there. So we have three sets, then 13 double crochets. And now I have six stitches left at the end and we're going to finish off by doing three last sets of two double crochets together, just like we did at the start. There's one set. A second. And finally, a third like that. So there we have finished round six of the bottom and now for round seven we're going to do the exact same thing as round six. Chain one and turn and you're going to do three sets of two double crochets together 
and then one double crochet into every stitch until six stitches from the end and then finish off with three sets of two double crochets together and you will find that you have less double crochets to work so in the middle. So I have finished round seven like that. So I did my last three sets at the end and now we're moving on to round eight and round eight is going to be the last round of this half. So chain one and turn and in this round we're going to start off by doing two sets of two double crochets together. So you want to do two sets. And a second one. Like that. And now you want to do five double crochets or one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And then to finish off, do two last sets of two double crochets together. So you should have four last stitches left and you want to do two sets of two double crochets together into those last four stitches. So like that. And there we have finished round eight and we have finished this half of our romper. So now you can fasten off, so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a long so tail. So we have finished the first half of our romper and I have fastened off. And you now want to go ahead and make a second piece in the exact same way. So you can go back in the video and re-watch all of those steps again, but you want to make a second piece exactly the same as this one. And then you will have two pieces like this and we're going to sew these together using the whip stitch and then add the dress part to the front. So now once you have your two pieces, we are going to join them using the whip stitch. And we're going to join them in four places along the tops here, so along one and two along the tops of the straps and then along the straight side down here and then the straight side on this side. So before you join them, you want to line them up perfectly and it's really important that you have this little ridge here. So from where we worked into the back loops of the stitch from in that one round, that ridge needs to be on the outside. So if you have a look here, you can see that the ridge is on the outside of this side and it's also on the outside of this piece. So you need to have the ridge on the outside of both pieces and now I'm going to show you how to join one of the sides and then you can go ahead and do the others in the exact same way. So along these flat sides here, we are going to join from right before we started decreasing for the legs and then to right before we started decreasing for the arms. So that is from round one of the top section. So not where we attached our yarn and then started decreasing down here. So round one, and you can see I have put little stitch markers in to line them up perfectly. And that will help me sew them together nice and neatly and also to explain to you. So I have round one here and I've put a stitch marker through round one on both sides and then up here round 19 was our last round before we started decreasing so I have put a stitch marker through round 19 so I have round one two three four five six seven eight all the way up to 19 we're going to join along this flat side using the whip stitch on both sides and then we're just going to join nice and easily along these top two little straps here. So you want to go ahead and line the two pieces up neatly with the ridges of both pieces on the outside and then you want to take a yarn needle or a tapestry needle and thread some of the same yarn through that needle and we're going to join first along this flat side using the whip stitch. So you want to start off by inserting your needle through both sides and this is through round one down the bottom 
and pull your yarn through. And this has to be quite a long piece of yarn. And then with the whip stitch, we always come back around to the same side and insert your needle through the next stitch and the same stitch on the opposite side and pull the yarn through and then bring the needle back around to this side and go in through the next stitch and the same stitch on the opposite side and pull your yarn through and you want to do this all the way along from rounds 1 up to 19 along the flat side and then do the same thing on the opposite side on the flat side 1 to 19 and then do the two little straps. So I have finished sewing up my romper here, here, here and here and the only edge that I have left that is not sewn up is the bottom edge down here and we are going to add some little buttons down here at the end so you don't want to sew that section up and now we're ready to move on to the skirt or dress part of our romper. So to begin this part you want to turn your work around so that the straps are facing you and we're going to be working into this little ridge here. So from where we worked into the back loop of the stitches in round 18. And what you want to do is you want to choose any of these stitches. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch. So along the ridge here, you want to go into any of the stitches. So I'm going to go into that one there. And we're going to attach our yarn just as we have done before. Like that. So insert your hook into the stitch, place your yarn over the hook, pull it through and chain one. And now we're ready to move on to round one of the skirt. So to begin round one, you want to do a V into this stitch here. So into the stitch that we just attached our yarn into. And when we do a V, we do double crochet, chain three, double crochet all down into the same stitch. So you want to yarn over, go down into the stitch that we just attached our yarn into and do double crochet, chain three, double crochet all down into the same stitch. So there we have double crochet, chain three, double crochet into that stitch and we have done a V and now you want to chain one and skip the next four stitches. So skip one, two, three, four. And we're going to repeat this all the way around for round one. We're going to do a V into one stitch, chain one, skip four stitches, V, chain one, skip four stitches, all the way around, working into these little stitches here that create the ridge. So we've done V, chain one, skip one, two, three, four. And now yarn over, go into the next stitch and do a V. So double crochet, chain three, double crochet. And then chain one and skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then do that again. Do a V. chain one and skip one, two, three, four stitches and just repeat that all the way around 
And when you get to the end of this side, you're going to carry on and keep going around to the opposite side following along the ridge. So I'm just coming to the end of round one. So I've done my last V, chain one, and then skip the last one, two, three, four stitches. And then to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here's the first double crochet, get into this stitch and do a slip stitch. So there we have finished round one, and we're ready to move on to round two. So to begin round two, you want to insert your hook into this first chain three space here. So we're going to go straight into the first chain three space and work a slip stitch. And that will take us into the middle of this V here, which is where we need to be. And now we're going to do a chain one. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. And round two is very simple. We're just going to do seven double crochets into every single V. So here, and here, and here, and here. We're just going to do seven double crochets. So into each of these Vs. So yarn over and go down into this first V here and do seven double crochets all into that chain space. So where you did double crochet, chain three, double crochet. So like that. So there I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. And now yarn over go into the next V here, so into the next chain three space and do seven double crochets into this one. And you're just going to repeat this all the way around for round two. Into each and every V, we're going to do seven double crochets. So I have finished working that all the way around and I have done seven double crochets into my last V. And now to finish off round two, work a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. Like that. And now we're ready to move on to round three. So to begin round three, you want to go into the next stitch here and do a slip stitch and then do a slip stitch into the next stitch as well. So we're starting off round three with two slip stitches. And now you want to chain one. So we have done slip stitch, slip stitch, chain one. And now into the next stitch. So this is the middle of the set of seven double crochets from last round. So this is the fourth double crochet. You want to do a V just like we did in round one. So we're going to do double crochet, chain three, double crochet. So yarn over and go into the next stitch and do double crochet, chain three, double crochet, all into this stitch. And now you want to chain one. And then we're going to move on to this next set of seven double crochets here. And we're going to go into the middle of this set. So into the fourth double crochet. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to work a V. So yarn over, go into the fourth one and do double crochet, 
chain three, double crochet, like that, and then chain one. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around for round three into the middle of every single set of seven double crochets from last round. We're going to do a V and then chain one. So to get the middle, you go to the fourth double crochet. So one, two, three, four. So we'll do a V here, chain one, and then go to the next set, one, two, three, four. So into this stitch here, the fourth one, you'll do a V and then chain one, and just repeat that all the way around. So I've just finished working that all the way around for round three. So I've done my last V, chain one, and then we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked to finish off the round. So there we finished round three and we're ready to move on to the next round. So now for the rest of the skirt of our romper, you just want to repeat rounds two and three again and again and again. So you've just done round three, so now you want to do round two, then three, then two, then three, and just keep going until you have the length that you want. And you can go back in the video and re-watch those rounds as many times as you need to. So round two is the round of our sets of seven double crochets, and then round three, the round of our little Vs. So just keep repeating those two rounds until you have the length that so you I want. So I have finished repeating those rounds, and I now have the length that I want. So I stopped right before we started going in for the legs, and then I fastened off. So I pulled my yarn out and my hook and cut my yarn, and then weaved all of my ends nice and securely into the inside of my work. And I then decided that I wanted to add a little border around my romper. So around the top here, around the neckline and the arms, and around the bottom, I did one single crochet into every single stitch. And then for the bottom of your romper here, you can either add some buttons or some little popper snaps. So I added popper snaps, but it's completely up to you. And then we have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find my Twitter account and my Instagram. And I like to post pictures of upcoming tutorials and updates on there. And I would also love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter and Instagram as well. And in the description box below this video, I will also leave a link to where you can find my written patterns. And thank you again for watching. Bye.